CMC's different research institutes and centers span across academic disciplines, theoretical and ideological perspectives, and methodological approaches to solving complex problems. Each of them, in various different fields, afford ways to bring faculty and students together on projects. Eleven different institutes where students can get involved, they can work with faculty members, they can learn about uh, issues in depth. Undergraduates get the chance to work with faculty who are dynamic researchers, who are still doing active research, who are, who are asking interesting questions. That co-active, interpersonal research experience is going to be the kind of thing you're going to remember about your college career for the rest of your life. When you're choosing where you're going to go to college, where you're going to spend the next four years, it's not really about the location or the buildings or about the athletic fields or about the facilities. What it's about, what it should be about, is about the people, about the professors, about your peers, about the people you're going to be spending your time with. The objectives of, of KLR are really about developing our students, developing CMC students to be more effective and responsible leaders. And how we do that is by involving them in a number of different activities. The Rose Institute is, is very interested in research that has a, a real world uh, impact. If you're interested in uh, politics, policy, what local government does, state government, we're the place for that. If you're a student who's ambitious, if you're a student who wants to learn about state and local government, if you're a student who wants to make a difference, and if you want to become part of a really interesting, supportive community at CMC, you should come to the Rose Institute. Salvatore is unique in that it invites you in to wrestle with the history of ideas, particularly the history of ideas as they relate to political philosophy, and in coming to understand how those ideas have shaped your world and the political order you inhabit, you come to realize that political order hasn't always looked like this. It's not like liberal democracy has been the only order that's existed throughout human history. And so when you come to learn the, the, the unique ideas underpinning your own contemporary political order, I think you're then much better equipped to actually wrestle with the problems that confront that order. CIE is the place to come for students who have an interest in aspects of entrepreneurship, who uh, would like to learn about the process of innovation, who would like to hone their skills in terms of generating new ideas, evaluating those ideas, pitching them in an effective manner, and to gain the confidence and resilience that they can take forward in the workplace, either as entrepreneurs or in other kinds of organizations. The Gold Center is interested in questions about the forces that shape our world, and we're interested in the interconnection of various different approaches to those forces. When you're choosing to study philosophy, or history, or art, or literature, or religious studies, you're making a choice to try to understand the world in which we live. And to be honest, you can't shape the world in which we live. You can't be a leader unless you're taking a moment to try to understand the world in which we live. And you need to understand the kinds of questions that have guided us throughout history, the kinds of philosophical questions that have motivated our attempts to understand who we are and what we do. Without that kind of study, you're not going to be able to do what you want to do. For the people who are going into finance, a lot of the stuff that they learn in here is going to be extremely valuable. We have really devoted faculty who are very engaged in the finance research, and the result is that we really have a, just a tremendous opportunity for the students to get a lot out of what they do here. We help support and promote human rights work through advocacy, fundraising, organizing both globally and locally. The students at Claremont McKenna come to us already very interested in human rights, so the goal of the center is to help them have a deeper knowledge and a deeper awareness of the challenges of alleviating some of these very severe, abhorrent human rights abuses in the world. So the passion is there. Our goal at the center is to try to hone their skills to be involved in activism, advocacy, and all sorts of activities uh, related to human rights after graduation. Today the world is a closely connected world. If you want to be a successful professional, 
you have to learn something about foreign culture, about international affairs. That's why studying international relations is now one of the most interesting uh, disciplines in our college. We do our best to give our students a professional experience that will enable them to appreciate what it's like to be an international affairs professional. The mission of the Lowe Institute, the way I see it, is that we are trying to provide students with an opportunity to take the tools and ideas that they learn in the classroom and translate them into uh, real-world situations, analyzing questions of interest that are much broader and more open-ended and, and more current um, than the things that we deal with in textbooks and classroom examples. Quantitative analysis is, is really the, the, the core of all of our projects, right? And that involves um, understanding how to translate a question into a set of other questions that can be that can be tackled, where to find the data, how to acquire and clean the data, and then how to analyze and, and present the data, which helps our students when they go out later um, on the job market. Those are the kinds of skills that they develop here that they then end up using. If you were a student in the Roberts Environmental Center, you would have been exposed to some real intellectual challenges in how to think about environmental issues, interacting not only with the people who are on the staff, but also with the external world in a very positive way. We offer students the ability to study complex issues from a multi-level perspective. And what I mean by that is for every single one of our research projects, for example, we collect data at the biological level, the psychological level, and the social cultural level. To give you an example, when we're studying children's development, we measure biological indicators, psychological health, as well as a family's larger social, cultural, economic context. And that ability to integrate knowledge from multiple levels really allows for a sophistication of thinking. We hope that we deliver a lot of, of useful skills to the students here that they will take out into the job market. You'll have learned analytic skills. You'll have learned quantitative skills. The collaboration skills required to produce a quality group product. Those skills broadly writ are things that they use everywhere. When they go out into the world. To help students become indispensable. Regardless of what your path will be. 